Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we will be checking out the S7-1500 stations in the Somatic world. The Somatic S7-1500 is the modular automation system for the medium and upper performance ranges. Different versions of the controllers allow the performance to be matched to the respective application. Depending on the requirements, the programmable controller can be expanded by input-output modules for digital and analog signals and technology and communication modules. The Somatic S7-1500 automation system is seamlessly integrated in the Somatic system architecture. The Somatic ET200 distributed I.O. allows for additional expansion using input-output modules which are connected to the central controller via Profibus DP or Profinet I.O. The distributed stations can be installed in a control cabinet or, if provided with special designs for increased mechanical requirements, directly on the machine or system. Somatic HMI is used to control and monitor a machine or plant and its function. Depending on their version, the devices can provide control functions via process images, display system status and alarm messages, and manage the automation data in the form of recipes or measured value archives. Somatic Net handles the exchange of data via various bus systems between the Somatic controllers, the distributed I.O., the HMI devices, and the programming device. The programming device can be a personal computer an industrial PC, or a notebook with a Microsoft Windows operating system. The somatic components are configured, parameterized, and programmed using the Step 7 engineering software. The TIA portal is the central tool for managing automation data and the associated editors in the form of a hierarchically structured project. The CPU contains the operating system and the user program. The user program is saved power fail proof on the somatic memory card, which is inserted in the CPU. The user program is executed in the CPU's work memory. The bus interfaces present on the CPU establish the connection to other programmable controllers. The power supply modules provide the internal voltages required by the programmable controller. Up to three system power supply modules can be used in the programmable controller as needed. Load voltages or load currents are provided via external load current supplies, which can also provide 24V primary voltage for system power supply modules. In each cycle the CPU reads the inputs, executes the program and then writes the calculated values to its output. After this it will send these output commands to the output modules centrally and decentrally as well. Signal modules are responsible for the connection to the controlled machine or plant. These input and output modules are available for digital and analog signals with different voltages and currents. Communication modules allow data traffic in excess of the functionality provided by the standard interfaces on the CPU with regard to protocols and communication functions. Technology modules are signal preprocessing. Intelligent I.O. modules which prepare and process signals coming from the process independent of the CPU and either return them directly to the process or make them available at the CPU's internal interface. Technology modules are responsible for handling functions which the CPU cannot usually execute quickly enough such as counting pulses. This was a short overview of the S7-1500 somatic stations. This is the first video of a new video course where we will walk over each element of the somatic world. Stay tuned. And please subscribe for more videos. See you next time. Bye bye.